Hi again. So today I want to talk about something that is not ordinarily spoken about often within the legal fraternity. And that is the lawyer and his mental health or his or her mental health. You know, often when you look on the TV, the lawyer is depicted as this successful lady or, or, or gentleman dressed immaculately, living in a mansion, you know, dream job, you know, highly paid, it would seem. And it, it's a profession that is often reflected as if it is, it is a cash cow or one of those professions that pay a lot. And that might be a reality for a few, but it's not the, the, the general norm within the legal profession. So today I wanted to do this video because one, we've seen an increased number of incidents where advocates or attorneys are, are shouting, yelling, swearing, uh, and, and behaving in, in, in a very distasteful manner uh, within the courts. But also we've seen a rise in a number of attorneys or advocates that are taking their own lives, right? And I started to wonder, what is it about our legal profession that allows for such to continue unabated? Now, what is the reality of the legal profession? The reality is that a lot of us, if you go and you speak to an ordinary person that have just started their articles or their pupillage, you'll realize that they are underpaid, they are overworked. You'll realize that often they work with very sensitive information, sometimes traumatizing information. Think about those rape cases, those cruel murder cases, but also very sensitive cases where because also of the length of time that they have to work on cases where they become emotionally connected to these cases. But also the legal profession is funny in a sense that it's one of the very unforgiving professions when one makes a mistake. Think about all of these things and their impact on the legal practitioner on the ground. Who is there after a rape case, a murder case, and all these other uh, traumatic experiences. Who is there to debrief the lawyer, to help him cope with what he or she has witnessed in court or has been experiencing with work? Where are social workers, where are psychologists and many other health professionals to assist in this regard? What am I saying? I'm saying the reality is that the legal profession, although noble, has elements that we as society and as the profession itself need to deal with. Especially, especially if we want these lawyers to perform at their best. Despite the fact that for many, many, many legal professionals, the salary is not really that attractive. There is an added pressure of people wanting free legal advice might be free legal advice. Imagine going to pick and pay and requesting free grocery, going to Woolworths and expecting free clothes, getting into Mercedes Benz and expecting a, 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 a free AMG. Doesn't make sense. So why is it that often we as lawyers, despite the conditions in which we work, I expected also to provide handouts as far as legal advice is concerned. These are some of the things that we need to reconsider. If we're going to change the cycle and ensure that we give dignity to the profession, ensure that we safeguard the interests of those that are in the profession, that must work for us and solve society's problems, the government's problems and everybody else, at some point we need to stop and reconsider how we are doing things, reconsider how we are rewarding those that are giving their time, their energy, their everything for the benefit of their clients. So all I'm saying is not a complicated issue. All I'm saying is that the health of legal practitioners, mental health of legal practitioners matters, whether it's physical, men emotional and mental health, it matters. 
and it should be important uh, for all of us. It should be important for all of us. That is all I want us to, to take from this video and nothing else. Thank you very much for listening and I hope indeed that you, you have taken something to understand that it's not always glamorous, but there are many, many, many difficulties that legal professionals are daily striving and fighting to deal with. And hopefully the profession will meaningfully transform in order to make the environment an attractive one for people to not only join, but to stay in the profession. Thank you very much. And I am sure you are already looking forward to my next video. But as I go, mental health of legal professionals matters. Matters. Thank you.